just as we used acted out as a problem solving strategy on a part part whole work mat, we encourage students to act out the part part whole problem situation on a number bond. The solve problem solving process is very purposefully integrated into instruction. After reading the following problem aloud, Lisa has two sugar cookies and five chocolate chip cookies. How many cookies does Lisa have? Ask students, what do we know about the problem? What do we need to know about the problem? We know Lisa has two sugar cookies and five chocolate chip cookies. We need to figure out how many cookies Lisa has. Record the known and unknown information. Model how to write the solution statement. Lisa has blank cookies. A solve graphic organizer like this one may be used. The students may hold picture cards and stand on the two parts of the number bond, or students may use a small number bond with picture cards or counters. Lead students to the understanding that part of the cookies are sugar and part of the cookies are chocolate chip. How can we use our counters to figure out how many cookies Lisa has? We can put all of the counters together, part, part, whole, to get a whole amount of seven cookies. Students may instantly recognize a whole quantity of seven or may need to count all of the cookies. As students continue to represent and solve word problems, provide opportunities to utilize concrete objects, picture cards, and part part whole work mats. Read the problem. Holly saw six girl reindeer and four boy reindeer at the zoo. How many reindeer did Holly see? We need to figure out how many reindeer Holly saw. Encourage students to use a cotton swab or chenille stick to represent the two parts proportionally to develop their sense of number. Picture cards or counters may be used to act out the problem. When students are solving for the whole amount, encourage an efficient strategy such as counting on from the greater quantity, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Holly saw ten reindeer. However, some students may need to count all of the objects in each part and some students may count on from either quantity.